so much for uh, for having me here today an absolute pleasure uh, to be here with this this fascinating group of people this amazing agenda and so many young passionate people excited about cybersecurity i see the attendee numbers blasting upwards at, at a great pace um, I just have a few bits and pieces that I want to go through, and then I'm going to get out of the way and make the way for you to hear from someone far more impressive with a really fascinating mission in cybersecurity, working in an area that I've long found fascinating. So I will introduce her very shortly. Um, but before I do that, um, I just want to share with you a, a couple of opportunities to, to do some things hands-on um, throughout the couple of days of, of sessions here. Now, no doubt you're going to be diving into the talks, hearing what everyone has to say, hearing about their roles in cybersecurity and all the different things that you could go on to help us secure. But in between that, you might want to get hands dirty with a few challenges. And there are two opportunities to do this that I have for you, depending on your level of background experience and expertise. Um, so let me show you the, uh, the first one here. Um, which is a really great place to start. If you've joined our session here, um, you've maybe not done anything specifically cybersecurity before, but you're interested in having a go at solving some problems and, and seeing what it's like. Uh, this is called Cyberstart Go, uh, and it is a, a fascinating little web-based platform where you can try some, some problem-solving puzzles and challenges completely for free. It's wide open. Uh, you can just go to this URL, go.joincyberstart.com, uh, and try some of the challenges. Uh, they're, they're grouped by easy, medium, hard, extreme, uh, and you can step through. Feel free to try them between the sessions work with each other if you want to, um, use Google and other search engines shamelessly uh, to, uh, to try and progress as well. Now, once you exhaust those, uh, or if you're feeling like a bit more of a, a challenge, uh, we also have the super fun optional CTF, marketing name to be patented, obviously. Um, and to sign up for this, uh, you can head over to www.tomahawk.com now, if you've played on this platform before, then you can sign in to your account. So you can keep your badges and your progress. Uh, if you haven't and you've never tried a capture the flag before, these hands-on challenges solving problems, uh, then you can sign up. And it's completely free again. Once you've registered, uh, click join event, and you'll just need to enter the event code new dash fork. And I can see that lots of people have signed up and they're on the scoreboard already uh, scoring points. Once you're in there, you can play until August 13th at 23.59 uh, ET. Um, use Google, use hints, all tools permitted. Uh, it is uh, you know, a, a bit of a free for all here for you to try some different challenges. Now, in this space, you're gonna find forensics challenges, you're going to find offensive challenges, uh, all, all types of different security disciplines, ranging from easy through to hard. The, the really important thing when you embrace these is to just be persistent and embrace the challenge of trying to, to solve these things. It, it's sometimes the case that you'll, you'll get in a rut and you'll spend lots of time trying to figure something out, get really annoyed and frustrated. But then you'll step away from the keyboard for five minutes, you know, go and, and listen to one of the fascinating talks that have been put on by our, our wonderful organizers here, come back and have an aha moment and score some points. Um, so feel free to jump into that uh, if you'd like to. Really great opportunity to try some challenges like the pros. Now, last little bit of advice from, from me. Um, clearly you're, you're here because you're interested in this cybersecurity thing. Uh, maybe it's the idea of thwarting hackers and keeping you know, nation, uh, nation state systems safe. Maybe it's the idea of breaking codes. Uh, maybe it's the idea of just helping encrypt data and make the world more safe and secure for our friends, friends and family around us. Throughout my career from 14 years old, day in, day out, I have been faced with fascinating challenges. I've worked with 
remarkable people who are trying to solve these problems. And the cyber criminals have always kept us you know, on our toes, having to come up with new techniques as they innovate. And so I'd like to touch on something you should think about through all of this, uh, this event, which is where this fun passion, the, the challenges you're solving, what you hear from the speakers can meet real world impact. Um, this is a poster that you can find on sans.org, the 10 coolest jobs in cybersecurity. And there are, there are a lot of jobs in cybersecurity now. Um, when I got started, it was the cybersecurity people. Um, and it was kind of one role, you know, this technical role, uh, actually very much in, in the corner of IT, as opposed to what it now is, which is very much a profession of its own, in the headlines, week to week, moment to moment, um, you know, data breaches, new security issues, mobile apps getting hacked and more. So this is the 10 coolest jobs. And it gives you some quotes from people who are doing these jobs about why they think it's fascinating, uh, why they think it makes a difference. And I think for, for me, that's the overall greatest gift I've been given in cybersecurity to date. Something you're gonna find in common with every speaker which has been the opportunity to do really cool, like geeky things, uh, to solve technical challenges, to, to be a problem solver and a communicator, whilst actually making a difference to the world, making the internet more secure for my friends, my family, and others. So whether you think you might be into the hacking stuff and helping to find flaws before the bad guys to make things more secure, or digitally sleuthing like a digital Sherlock Holmes to figure out who done it, uh, I'd strongly recommend looking at some of these resources that we'll, uh, we'll post links to um, and uh, you know, keep, keep that in mind through, through all of the talks here. <laughs>